Pat Buchanan is going to explain why uh, Colin Powell endorsed uh, Barack Obama. I think you see where this might be going. Uh, we promised it to you earlier. Let's have some fun. Uh, he's, by the way, he's on MSNBC, of course. He's talking to Chris Matthews as well as Joan Walsh, who is not having any of it. So let's check it out. All right. All right. We've got to ask a question. Look, would sure. Colin Powell be endorsing Barack Obama? If he were a white liberal Democrat, oh Pat, I'm so sorry you went there. Poland came out of the left wing of this party. Look, General Trump I'm really sorry you went there. It would be electrifying if we elected an African American, and it is naive, Joan, to suggest it had nothing at all to said, do with this. What decision. about Hansard, Just to finish this point, because it is very tricky. He said that if that were his driving motive, he would have done it weeks ago, because the guy months was African American ago. weeks and the guy's and months been, ago. And, and, he was, and, and Obama's been waited, courting him. He got, he, uh, Chris, he's this been explains him why he's, this is why he threw in the whole kitchen sink. A lot of things that are silly and ridiculous. Economics and Supreme Court justices. It's uh, That's we've not got silly. all the motives except for That's the one silly. everybody's wondering about. Okay. Well, Which Pat, is what? Uh, race? race? I mean, Pat. You well, know, Pat. That's me, beneath you. Let me ask you that's another question, you. Joan. Why did John sure. Lewis abandon Hillary Clinton in the middle of a campaign? When Sheila Tubbs Jones stuck it out gutsily, well, what's, your he what's the motive there? Stephanie the motive Tubbs there. Jones said, and Sheila Jackson Lee. He's a black American, he's going to be president, and I want to be part of it. But, well, that was what he that, said. Well, go by what he said. Why do you have to attribute motives to people who don't say those things? Well, I say, right. don't, you can't tell me it wasn't a pull no, on I, no. exactly why he did it. But I, look, if people are going to ask questions, they're already raising sure. those questions, and the questions, Chris, are valid. Okay. They he did it for a lot here. of reasons. He did it for a lot of reasons. I and they thought were great it was reasons. incredibly powerful because of the way he did it. And it did not look rash. And it did not look, as you would suggest, tribal. <laughs> you know, it's a curious word to use there, tribal. But I think Chris Matthews has been doing a great job lately. I really do. Hey, look, I, I've hit him hard in the past when I thought he wasn't doing a good job. But he got Michelle Bachman to say, you know, on Friday on air, yeah, we should look into some, uh, you know, liberal. Uh, congressman for being un-American. That's just, I mean, it's flat out McCarthy, obviously. And here he lets basically Buchanan hang himself, and then he's like, come on, Pat. Look, did you notice, here's my, the funniest parts of that. When uh, Pat Buchanan said, oh, you know, Powell threw in these other considerations. He's silly. He called them silly. Things like the Supreme Court and economics. Those are silly. Those are the most important issues there are. In fact, we had Pat Buchanan on the Young Turks before the 2004 election, he agreed with John Kerry on almost every foreign policy question. We went issue by issue on Iraq, Afghanistan, nuclear proliferation, etc. And he said, yeah, I agree with John Kerry. We have it on tape, okay? And in the end, he said, I said, all right, so obviously you're going to vote for John Kerry. He said, no, I'm going to vote for George Bush. Why? Because of the Supreme Court. Because he's pro-life and he wants... So now, but all of a sudden, now the Supreme Court's silly. When Colin Powell talks about it, it's silly. When Pat Buchanan talks about it, it makes perfect sense. Has anybody ever asked Pat Buchanan, hey, are you voting for John McCain because you're white and he's white? Oh, no, 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 no. It's only black people who think that way, not white people, right? And if you accuse white people of that, oh, then, oh, yeah, I'm throwing out the race card, dealing from the bottom of the deck. Oh, I can't believe you're bringing races into it. Oh, you, but Buchanan can bring race into it all he wants. It's no problem at all. And then one, uh, one more amusing side note was when he said, you know, John Lewis abandoned uh, Hillary Clinton, went to Barack Obama, while Sheila Tubbs-Jones stuck it out. Yeah. As uh, Joan Walsh corrected, no, that's not Sheila Tubbs-Jones. That's Stephanie Tubbs-Jones and Sheila Jackson Lee. And by the way, that doesn't make your argument any better. It makes it worse. Those are two black appointed officials, uh, not appointed, I should say, elected officials, who were on Hillary Clinton's side and never changed. So what happened to your racial theory? Oh, right, it doesn't make any sense. Man, there's, they bring that weak sauce like it's strong. <laughs> they throw it like, oh, I got one for you. Why is it, why is it? Race. Oh, that didn't work? Oh, okay. But they come confident. It's ridiculous.